praise god everyone good evening to all who are here looks like everybody is still celebrating the easter praise jesus <laughs> praise god <laughs> yeah. they'll join they'll join yeah let them enjoy praise <laughs> jesus okay praise god it's so beautiful yeah but uh, god has done so many good things in our life yeah. it's always about jesus nothing about us right. correct and right. we are we are receiving lot of good uh, teachings through jclm these days very nice very yeah. very nice teachings different sister. different teachings we are receiving not only yeah. right that and is you know the, the there are these new uh, warriors who have joined even their teachings are very good yes see i am so happy that you know it's not one or two or 100 warriors the the warriors are just increasing yeah <laughs> the reason because uh, the truths are revealed very openly uh, truths are not given on uh, giving money and you will receive it <laughs> it yeah. is given free yes praise <laughs> god yes. wonderful <laughs> now it's time to glorify the lord with some happy stories in our life praise <laughs> jesus praise god yeah do you have anything to share sister yeah i'll share the i've got lots many things so i'll share so then you okay. can start with the teachings then no later yes. on uh is yes. there any disturbance coming from my side sister no no oh, sorry is there any disturbance coming from my no, side no 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 not at all you know uh i don't know your voice is not a little breaking i think oh, really yeah uh, that's maybe because of the fan i put it on Is, is it okay now yeah yeah now it is okay uh, because of the fan i ac is on but uh, i put the fan on also because i'm feeling <laughs> <laughs> this god yeah okay i'll start and this is uh, sure. a testimony of one of the sister that i am ministering so she has sent me today i'll just read it out she said that i had terrible body pain yesterday and most of my left shoulder was paining very badly i confess that i am strong and healthy in the name of jesus the pain subsided but didn't go away totally then i remembered brother johnson words don't concentrate on the pain concentrate on the healing i said these words with full faith and the pain just disappeared instantly I did all my office work properly yesterday and then late in the evening I also attended an official get together as well praise god no pain at all the pain subsided completely it really works thank god praise god amen thank you to you too praise god this is one of uh, the testimony and in this uh, two weeks there is a lot that god showed me and i thank the lord for you know being present in all the big and small things that has happened um i got a chance to share the word with one of my non catholic neighbor praise god it so happened that uh, she was going through some issues in her life and she was too disturbed so the lord told me that just go and share the word with her so i went i did not give her much i told her about the creation and jesus dying on the cross and when he died he asked everyone to forgive because something took place in her house where she needed to forgive so i had to go and tell for the forgiveness for her so i preached on that little for her and she is a non catholic she doesn't know anything about jesus so she was listening when i told her and then i told her that uh, there is a ministry jclm you can go on the youtube and listen to the teaching and we are so blessed that this arunachal pradesh uh, retreats were going on so i started forwarding those links to her and her two daughters you know they were not feeling well they were a little bit sick so as soon as i started uh, 
sending those links. She replied for me after listening to the teaching. I think two teachings she heard and then she replied and she told me, you know, after I heard these teachings, we both sisters, even the mother also was not too well, I think. She's saying, just, you know, we just got healed. And actually before I could leave their house, I had already told them, you are, they told me that we are not feeling well. So I said, okay, I'll listen to the teaching you now and then see how you all will experience the difference in your body. And then she replied to me, she said, after you send those teachings and we heard, there was a sudden change in our body and that feverish, what we were feeling just left away. And then after two days, again, she messaged me another message saying, my mother was always hyper. She used to get very angry. But after listening to the teaching, she has cooled down. And she like now doesn't make too much of noise. So I really thank the Lord that, you know, in, in hardly a week's time, there is so much of change in that family. Praise God. Then the other testimony I want to share is, I got a chance to um, go to uh, three. Yeah, three. Three people. I uh, was able to minister to one is my brother-in-law, one is my mom, and one is my neighbor. From that two healings, uh, I have already seen, and one, the, my neighbor has still not come back, but I know that she's also healed. I'll tell about my mother. My brother-in-law is also healed. He ha his diabetes was very high, praise God, and the diabetes then is come now very low. It's come down. There's no diabetes now. Praise God. And my mother, what happened? It was uh, last Friday. As she was, uh, there are just two steps to go to our house. It's on the ground floor. So as she was walking those steps, she hit the step border and she got a, you know, cut like on her uh, leg. And when she got that cut, the skin just flapped, it opened up. So she had to take eight stitches over there for that uh, wound of hers. And then when she came back home, she called me. The, my sister called me to tell that so and so thing has happened to mom. And then after my sister, after work, she went home. So when she went home, I had, uh, she called me. So then over the phone only, I, I prayed for mommy. I told mommy, don't worry because I have already given her the word of God, 1 Peter 2, 24, no, to say. So I told her, Mommy, you continue with that same word of God by saying that my leg is completely healed and nothing is there. I told her, don't worry, everything will be okay. Then after two days, I think she had to go for, to check that wound again to the doctor. So when the doctor checked, the doctor said, oh, your wound is really very good. There is, I thought there would be some pus and all, but no pus, nothing was there for the wound, praise God. Only the doctor told one thing that where the stitches were given, a little lower, below the stitches had turned black, which should be there. So I told mommy, no problem, that also is going to go. You just continue, you keep continuing the word of God and that will also disappear. Then on uh, Monday, uh, Tuesday, on Tuesday, I went to see her. Then when I went to see her, I prayed over that wound of hers because the uh, thing was covered, so I couldn't see it. And she had to change that bandage the next day. Doctor told her, you don't come to the clinic in the house. Now you change the bandage. So on uh, Wednesday, when she opened the bandage, praise God. She called to tell me that black thing, what was there, disappeared. So it is, you know, so nice. Really, praise God for you, my Lord, that you are showing your glory in all big and small things. Thank you so much, my Lord. Then the other thing is that in my house, all of a sudden, you can say one week, one week, yeah. One week, suddenly, before that, my neighbor had come to ask me, are cockroaches come in your house? I said, praise God, I don't have any cockroaches in my house. And suddenly, one week from now, one week, 
I suddenly started seeing small, small cockroaches in the uh, kitchen. And then I rebuked at that time only. And I was doing my work. But then every day I'm seeing, and I'm saying, Holy Spirit, I already prayed everything. Why are these cockroaches not going? Then uh, just three days before what I did, I took the insecticide. I have one spray. And I said, Lord Jesus, now I'm spraying your holy and precious blood over this thing. And whatever is there, everything is dead. And everything is gone out of the house and everything is gone out of my building also. No cockroaches at all. And that same night, again, we did the prayer during our prayer time. We rebuked those cockroaches and we said that everything is gone. From next day, sister, no cockroaches at all. Now my kitchen is free from cockroaches. Praise God. And the last testimony is yesterday what happened with me. At 11 o'clock, actually when I got up in the morning, I suddenly started getting some pain. And this is the same pain that I had got some months before where I had given my testimony. That same pain I started getting again yesterday. At 11 o'clock, the pain became very severe. And from the center, the pain went on my right side. Okay. And that pain, slowly, slowly, it was going on increasing. So I started, I rebuked the pain and I was saying my scripture. But that pain became so severe that I can't say the scripture. I couldn't even speak in tongues. And my husband had gone to work. So I phoned my husband and I told my husband, I can't speak the scriptures. Neither I can say anything. You speak the scriptures from there. I told my husband, you pray from there. So my husband started praying from there. And then after some time, I said 1 Peter 2 and I'm the body of Christ. The moment I was saying I'm the body of Christ, that pain no, was getting more severe the moment I'm saying I'm the body of Christ. And then after some time, no, I just couldn't bear the pain. And I, I went on online to see sister if you are there online, but you are not online only. Then after some time, uh, Holy Spirit told me to see that in the uh, mountain melts like wax in the presence of the Lord. So then I said, okay, I'll say that. So then I started saying, mountain melts like wax in the presence of the Lord. So whatever is disturbing in my body has melted and it has gone out. After three minutes, I went and I vomited. The moment I vomited, I felt better. So I sat down for a little time because the pain came down. And I told my daughter, just get some soft drink for me to drink because and now I'm feeling little okay, I'll drink something. I drank the soft drink and I was sitting. I was sitting, then the pain again started. Again, it came back. Again, I said the same thing. Again, after two minutes, again, I vomited. Whatever juice I drank, again, I vomited out. Okay, and then afterwards, I'm again looking if you are there online to tell you that, you know, the pain is severe. I can't bear so if you can pray, but you are not online only, praise God. Then I called my husband. I told my husband, I don't know what is happening. The pain is just not going. So he, so he said, okay, don't worry. I'm praying for you. It will go. It will go. And then after some time, no, I went to pass urine. Okay. I passed urine and I came. And as I was walking, no, I saw that the pain has gone. It disappeared as I was walking. And when I came back, I suddenly seen message from my husband saying, that don't worry, I'm speaking in tongues. So when my husband was speaking in tongues, that side, this side, I got a relief from that pain. I got a relief from the pain. And now since, now I remember that last time when I had, um, when this pain had come, I had passed a stone. So every time when I was going to pass urine, I was looking, anything is falling or what? So I said, nothing fell down. So I went to sleep. And then when I got up, no, after I woke up, only half an hour, I just took a nap. I got up and again I went to pass urine. That time, no, sister, one stone came out. Praise God. You know, this is a real miracle which I myself don't know because I don't have any problem. I have never gone to the doctor before also I have told. 
I have never gone to the doctor because I don't have any problem. But I don't know from where the evil one brings some stupid thing. And my God is really so good that he removes it out. So I just want to glorify the Lord for all these big and small things that has taken place in my life. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise Jesus. Wonderful testimonies about your uh, <laughs> dad, uh, dad's uh, diabetes, so, about your neighbors, no. Hindu, um, <laughs> and about your... Uh, now, I'll tell you, uh, you are saying that you had no pain, you did not have uh, any symptoms, and uh, suddenly you no. got the pain. Then, okay. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you, uh, actually, the evil is around us. You know that. We all learned yeah. about it, right? It's, mm -hmm. We are surrounded in the dark world, right? We are yeah. not in the light, but we are still in the darkness. But because of Jesus in us, we are the light. Now, as you keep praying, uh, I, I do, I'm not saying that it's praying. As you fellowship with the Lord, right? Uh, yeah. As you speak in tongues and all. So the hidden ones, which are hidden in your body, mm -hmm. these are the small, small spirits, okay, which are hidden. They, mm. they get uh, tormented, actually. Now, these are the spirits. Not every sickness in our body is a spirit. Yeah, yeah. Even a, a slight pain because uh, Christ has redeemed us on the cross. So, we are not supposed to have any kind of sickness because Romans chapter 8, verse 2 says that the spirit, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Now, what is sin mm. and death? Sickness. All right. Through the sin, we fall sick. From the sickness, we get death, right? Yeah. Now, you know, these uh, spirits, they get tormented as we speak in tongues. Speaking, uh, we, when we uh, use the promise. Today, it happened with me also. Actually, in the morning, I was praying for an intention. And uh, in the morning, I was, uh, you know, I had contacted uh, Brother Johnson and he called me early morning today. And you can imagine, I was sleeping. It was, uh, say, 5:45. Okay, my <laughs> and he called me and my and uh, other. I was just uh, he told me do so and so thing. Okay, this is for something else. And I he said oh, speak in tongues for one hour. But he told me uh, you take uh, scripture and uh, you warrior you you can make a great prayer. Okay, and he told me that you're sealed with the blood of Christ. Just do this, he said. And I did that. And you know what? I was praying in tongues. After 30 minutes of my praying, I got a very, very bad pain. In the sense, it was like the pain uh, started disturbing me where just below the rib cage. Wow. See, because I have to pray in tongues for one hour. Yeah. Soon after 30 minutes, the pain started. Okay. Yeah. So I immediately rebuked it. I rebuked it. And I started pay, praying in tongues again. By the time I, and when I rebuked, it went on the spot. On the spot, it went, okay. And after one, now, I'm a stubborn warrior, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, for me to pray for one hour, I prayed it for one and a half hour. And Good. he said, then, then I sent him a message. He said, do you know that the manifestation has started? I said, wow. Because that's the sign, he said. Because the really? pain which came all of a sudden just to take away my focus. Yeah. You know, really to good. shift my focus. Mm. Okay. But uh, I didn't focus uh, immediately because I know what I have to do. I Im immediately rebuked it and continued praying in tongues. Praise Jesus. It went away. Yeah. It just yeah. went away. And because of my stubbornness, I, uh, you know, I prayed for another one hour. Because it is <laughs> praying, right? 30 minutes. So I don't know. Pray now one hour. So, you know, yeah. sister, I yeah. really yeah. thank that my husband is also in the world. See, you know, I couldn't do it. As soon as I told my husband, my husband started praying from the office. So at least with not my prayers, my husband's prayers, at least, you know, I got a relief. Other yeah. I was yeah. I I was not able to say, you know, it was not allowing me to say the pain praise god thank you jesus <laughs> see when we are praying you think that the spirits are not around they are always around yeah. and they yeah. try to take the weak, weakest uh, area and when we are speaking to the people they can hear they can yeah. hear we yeah. think that they cannot hear right they can hear everything 
and they act according to what they receive correct so when we speak in uh, uh, pro with the promise and when we speak in tongues they they are confused yeah this is the confusion that uh, the promise and the pray. that's why uh, you know uh, you know paul said when we pray to god we have to pray in spirit yeah and continually pray in tongues he said because yeah. that is what he said he he, he did uh, most of the time he prayed in tongues yeah and what was yeah. his prayer his prayer was to fill everyone with wisdom of god and so that uh, everybody is filled with the holy spirit yes he did not pray for somebody to get job somebody to get this that no. so that if you are filled with the holy spirit you are able to uh, you know speak about jesus yeah and uh, i like uh, paul because uh, <laughs> saint paul he has done such a good thing because jesus met him in spirit yeah. that's the reason i like his uh, all the letters that he has written and i really love them i love them It's praise so jesus <laughs> okay i will pray i will play one uh, testimony that was shared by my sister i will tell you all about this testimony later on okay in case it is uh, not audible to you all please let me know huh? okay Okay, just uh, mention to me. Praise the Lord. I'm from Mangalore. In February, I had gone for an industrial visit, which was a four-day trip from Kollur to Wayanar and Kochi. On the fourth day, which was a Sunday, while coming back from the trip, I was down with high fever, but with dolo six of the tablet. Little did I know, the tablet doesn't work for my body. I was unconscious. about the journey from Vienna to Mangalore unfortunately neither did my classmates nor my teachers i was unconscious during the journey we got to know i was unconscious on morning monday morning and was fine but then it rushed me to the hospital in the morning and the complete the doctor told i should come to conscious in 48 hours by god's grace i came back to conscious with the 12 hours that was monday night now i'm completely recovered and it was a norm thank you lord jesus for this wonderful i thought but for delaying the testimony please can give thanks for healing me and hallelujah praise jesus Yeah, it was a little slow but we could hear i think i don't know about the others no, whether no, they could no, hear i couldn't hear you couldn't hear no no Oh, because she has spoken very softly, actually. Yeah, it is. It was slow. I I heard that she was unconscious and all. Okay. What happened is this girl, young girl. Uh, she's in the college, and she's my sister's neighbor in Manglo. And uh, she came. She went for an uh, industrial trip, and when she came back, uh, she was totally unconscious because she had she had fever, and she took some tablet, and that reacted. so there was reaction with that tab tablet and she was unconscious because of the reaction and she was admitted in the hospital now when they admitted her in the hospital the doctors gave her 48 hours that she has to come out of it uh same time my sister called and because they called my sister because they know that i am into the prayers and i lay hands on the sick people so her mother contacted my uh, sister uh, this girl's name is viva v i v a so they called her and they said that uh, so our daughter is in the hospital in the icu and doctors have given 48 hours and my sister contacted me it was i think in the evening or i think it was yeah it was in the evening around 7 or 8 o'clock my time and uh, she said so and so thing i said just don't worry i release the resurrection power of god into that child and she is completely set free she is out of the icu tell this to the parents so my sister asked me what confession should i give it to them i told her resurrection power is already working on her now it is already done you just tell them to rest and thank god let them just say thank you jesus praise to jesus and my sister sends me a message i think that by then you know she was already in the fighting the battle i don't know how many hours she was in the uh, this in uh, i think less than 2 hours or 3 hours my sister sends me the message that she is out of the icu she is uh, she is out of danger not icu out of danger 
the next day she was shifted to the uh, general ward and uh, uh, she, then they said uh, uh, she, uh, then she was having some uh, i think problem with the breathing i spoke to the girl actually next day uh, i spoke to her from the office and that time she said something i told her viva you have to one thing you have to remember if you are uh, if you believe in christ whatever i say that just believe that you are getting discharged tomorrow and she was out of the hospital before that time and uh, i told her relax your lungs are perfect your breathing is perfect nothing is wrong with you this is all the medications that they have put that they, they are now turning into the precious blood of jesus christ i spoke to her i prayed with her because my sister had gone to visit her when she came out of the icu and this is a testimony where this girl came out of the icu not only the icu she went home within 2 days the doctor said what she needs to be out of the icu within 48 hours she came out of within 12 hours 12 hours she came out and it's the power of the uh, you know the uh, power of god that raised christ jesus from the dead raised her from that icu and made her to walk out from there praise jesus Yeah, so crazy. this uh, yeah this is you know this is the resurrection power and we uh, that day we also prayed for her uh, during the tongue session you know we we yeah, prayed yeah. for her and uh, praise jesus see this is the similar thing i uh, shared with you all other day you know i prayed with a uh, hindu uh, uh, my colleagues uh, my ex colleague's yeah. wife and he was in the icu yeah. and then when we were praying he was shifted uh, they, they were doing the angiography and uh, he was next day home he yes. was next day home so you know it is uh, nothing but when we are focused we are focused and when we are just believing believing in the unseen who unseen i'm not talking about the unseen spirits i'm talking about the spirit of god correct the spirit of god is here Yes. Jesus is in heaven. So when we we only focus that you know our focus should not be uh, the on the symptoms, but our focus should be that person imagination has to be there when we focus. That person is already out. Mm. And when we believe and when we pray in tongues, amazing things happen. Yes, amazing things. Praise Jesus. Yes, See, Jesus. Uh, you know when I received the uh, yeah, when I received my colleague's. Uh, message and he messaged me uh, in the morning early morning <laughs> thank you clara i'm going home i'm good i'm going home so I'm, i'll be getting this he messaged me not his wife and uh, when i received uh, that message i received i think uh, i thought of viva also actually you know how amazingly she came out then i i thought of one uh, little boy in uh, uh, sri lanka when i called the father and he was in the icu and yeah. uh, <laughs> he said that uh, i hope so i said don't say hope so it's already done because mm-hmm. we, when we don't know we say no hope so yeah it was out the boy was out so it's the power of jesus it's not you it's not me it's all about jesus yeah it's all praise about god. jesus praise to god praise, praise god. god how nice we feel because you know we all can do it no we all can yeah. do it yeah it's yeah yes that, sir yeah it is not okay, uh, this power is not given to few people some people no. it is to all because god has blessed us with all the spiritual blessings yeah and it works when you believe now see this uh, two sisters who i am ministering both hmm. of them now even they it is hardly i think two months i think i have started ministering but when they are also speaking i have uh, showed uh, means told them how to speak you know to the to take authority so now even they speak and they see that it works so i told them it works with everybody it's not that you got power or she got power exactly. i said yeah it's really amazing it is the reason yes, is that this power is in us because god has given us this power before we were born in our yeah. mothers because we are chosen and the reason uh, why we are having because jesus died before us mm. yeah he finished everything before we were born in the our mother's womb he yeah, finished really. it that's what people uh, are you know unable to understand that's why some people run to pastor uh, preacher uh, you know pastor pastor game pe- preacher preacher game because it is nothing to do with that it's the word sets you free it's the word right 
See, if I had to stop my praying in tongues in the morning because I had that pain and I would have, uh, you know, shifted my focus from this to that, then I would have, uh, that pain would have lingered. Yeah. Correct? So yeah. The, when I took the authority, that pain left. So my focus is not on that pain. Now my focus is continued with the uh, intention and that I'm praying upon. Right. Praise Thanks, Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Gracie, welcome. Yes, welcome, Sister. <laughs> Praise God. Okay. I think uh, if we are done with the testimonies, we can, uh, I will uh, begin with the teachings, okay? Praise Jesus. I will do the prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father, for all the lovely testimonies that we have heard from Sister Leone about all those people and also the testimonies that I've shared today. Thank you, Father. You are an amazing and awesome God, Father. My God, your everything is possible with you. Jesus, you said, my God is your God. My Father is your Father. And Father, we, we are so grateful to our Lord Jesus Christ. It's, it's a grateful heart every time that we carry towards our Lord Jesus, our older brother, because Jesus, you came into this world to restore our relationship with our Father. Today, we are able to call him our Father. It's because of your love that you showed for us upon the cross. You bore that cross for us, Lord Jesus. You shed that blood for us. The, the, the torture that you went through on the cross, we cannot even imagine. We cannot even think about it. But you went in the form of a man on the cross and you have set us free. You restored that relationship which we lost in the paradise. We thank you. We praise you, Lord Heavenly Father, our God, our Father, that you are such a wonderful, awesome, amazing Father because your love never never ends it's so unconditional one way and it is so so much filled with your grace and your grace and your peace lord jesus we pray that that be multiplied in each one of our hearts as we receive the word and holy spirit it is not my will it is your will it is not my way it is your way father everything is you today whatever i'm going to speak Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you are leading me to, with the truth, all my brothers and sisters, that they have to achieve their goal only by listening, receiving it, and going and practicing it in their life and sharing the word with others. And the crown is theirs. We thank you. We praise you, Jesus, that you have blessed each and every one of us with your presence. Father, we make this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. 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 Praise God. Praise today, God. <laughs> today I thought of, uh, uh, you know, teaching upon how Jesus heals in response to faith. Correct? What you said, sister? Jesus how heals? Jesus, in response to faith. Okay. Is he not healing us when yeah. he speaks his promise? Mm -hmm. Yes. Correct. Is responding, is, is not reacting, is responding, correct? Yeah, right. Is responding because we are uh, believing, not only believing, we are putting into action. What is the action? Action is just when we speak the, uh, when we speak the promise, we believe and we do exactly what we are yes. supposed to do. We don't go in doubt, right? Yes, Christ yes. Christ. So I want you to take us to Mark chapter 5. From the starting? Uh, no, you can uh, read from chap uh, verses 21. Uh, Sister Gracie can read? Yes. Yeah. Uh, read from 21 to uh, 23. 23. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jesus got into the boat again and went back to the other side of the lake. 
where a large crowd gathered around him on the show. Then a leader of the local synagogue, whose name was Jairus, arrived. When he saw Jesus, he fell at his feet, pleading fervently with him, My little daughter is dying. He said, Please come and lay your hands on her, heal her so she can live. Okay, uh, 24. Jesus went with him and all the people followed, crowding around him. Okay, now here uh, we are going to read the next one uh, after this. Now, the first thing that actually that day, I think it was Jesus' day because he, uh, he healed so many people. If you go uh, before uh, verse 21, I think he is casting out demons and all. Okay. Yeah. yeah so it is. Yeah. So it was like Jesus' day that day. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he was uh, doing all the miracles that day. And uh, I, I really uh, love this, uh, uh, you know, uh, sometimes uh, book of Mark, the gospel of Mark, no? It's so good. And uh, we learn a lot of things in the book of Mark because my journey started from there. Okay. From the gospel of Mark. Mm -hmm. So what happens is when he go, uh, the Bible says Jesus got into the boat again and went back to the other side of the lake where a large crowd gathered around mm -hmm. him on the shore. So imagine the amount of people gathering around Jesus. Because whenever we speak about uh, the miracles uh, or even about the multiplication of bread and fish, we only think, think about the crowd, isn't it? Yeah. Nowhere it is written that, you know, there's certain amount of people. It's a crowd, most of the time crowd. Now, what mm. happens here? A leader of the local synagogue. Synagogue is like a church, right? Yeah. Synagogue is a church. So local uh, church, a leader, leader. Now, if I'm talking about other faith over in this country, it, in the mosque, they have some leaders. Okay, they're mm -hmm. the one. Now, if I'm talking about the uh, church here, the priest, correct? Now, who is yeah. the head priest? There, are, There is a parish priest and then the priest below him. Yeah. So it, this guy was like a leader. So the parish priest type, correct? Mm -hmm. So yeah. whose name was Jairus? It's not a priest, but he, he was a leader. So his name was Jairus. Mm. And when he, he arrived and when he saw Jesus, he fell at his feet. Did he humble himself? Yes. Total humble, no? Yeah. Complete surrendering. Mm. And why did he surrender himself at his feet, pleading fervently with him, my little daughter is dying. He said, now, he is preaching, he is a leader in the church, okay, yeah. in the synagogue. Why he couldn't tell the Pharisees or the priests over there to heal his daughter? Yeah. He could have, uh, high, like, for example, what normally people would do, people would go to their parish priest. Pre yeah. I, have, I have done it. I have done it when my little child was sick. We went to the parish priest. So it is, but this guy comes to a man who is roaming like a nomad, yeah. correct nomad, that is mm. like a, he doesn't have a place to live, he doesn't know who is, uh, people know is, uh, call, call him like a, uh, what they call him, prophet, right? They, they thought yeah. he was a prophet. Yeah. But none of the prophets like Jesus, uh, uh, the prophets did some uh, miracles, but not like Jesus, correct? Yeah, right. So, yeah, so so he had so much of faith that he comes there and he falls at his feet and is pleading. You know the meaning of pleading? You're literally crying, right? Yeah. Pleading means you're literally asking, begging. Yeah, My begging. little daughter is dying, he said. Please mm. come and lay your hands on her. Heal her so she can live. Mm. see the words that are coming please come please come lay your hands mm. on her heal her so she can live so jesus went with him and all the people followed crowd around crowding around him jesus went with him now one man comes and tells now what happens the next sister read from there 
See that? <laughs> I'm thinking here, one person comes and he stops him and he's telling his daughter is dying. Yeah. Correct? Mm. Now, he did not even reach that place. Now, the next a woman, uh, teacher, uh, sister, uh, read from there. A woman in the crowd had suffered for 12 years with constant bleeding. She had suffered a great deal from many doctors. And over the years, she had spent everything she had to pay them. But she had got, she had got no better. In fact, she had become worse. She had heard about Jesus, so she came up behind him through the crowd and touched his robe. For she thought to herself, if I can just touch his robe, I will be healed. Immediately the bleeding stopped and she could feel in her body that she had been healed of her terrible condition. Praise Jesus. Okay. Yes. I will wait here one second. Uh, now, this, the wo this woman... This woman was one among the crowd, one among the crowd, correct? She was one yeah. amongst them. Mm. And she had this bleeding issue for how many years? 12 years. So 12 years means, is it hemorrhage? Yeah. It's hemorrhage, right? Continuous bleeding. Now, we, now, when I say the bleeding, can a woman have continuous bleeding for 12 years and she can survive? <laughs> Sometimes even I think about this. 12 years. Praise God. <laughs> Actually, she had the same issues like every woman is having. Menopausal problem. Correct? Uh, okay. Right? So when you go through a certain uh, age and when you reach that menopausal, you start bleeding more. Some people bleed less. Some people, mm -hmm. something happens. All these things. So she was also having for 12 years that means every time when she had bleeding, she had this issue of bleeding. Mm. Okay, we as women can understand this, right? Yeah. Yeah, others cannot understand. So, so she had this uh, bleeding problem and she saw all the physicians, doctors, everything. Don't we do that? Yes. You know, I will give you my testimony. Few years back, I, I was having bleeding problem, okay? And uh, it's when I say few years, I must say now it is 12 years. Exactly. This is good. And uh, it scared me such a lot that I went to India, okay? Uh, I had this problem, uh, heavy bleeding. And uh, when I went to the doctors there the, in India, I went to uh, Reliance Hospital in uh, Four Bungalows, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, they're the doctors. You you know in India how the doctors rip you off. This yeah. doctor, the gynec, she took me directly inside, and she uh, she's not only gynec, she's an oncologist in this. That means cancer. Mm -hmm. Correct. So mm -hmm. she's a gynec with uh, associated with the oncology because she's treating. That means that came to my mind brain afterwards because I am I must say that I was so dumb. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so because after the treatment when I came back I was sitting and thinking why she I was put in the oncologist uh, floor with that doctor who is associated with oncologist there mm. you understand so yeah. I was sent to her and uh, the doctor said she said that you have to do this so and so thing you have to uh, in, uh, you know uh, insert so and so thing in this your bleeding will stop mm. okay and uh, within three months, completely it will stop and you will not have bleeding. After five years, you have to remove this. Mm. I was not in the word, huh? let me tell you. Yeah, I was not true. in the word. Mm. Uh, so I went there, she puts this uh, called, uh, device called Mirina. And then uh, I, for, for a day, this is only one day hospitalization. Next day I was sent home, okay? And uh, I was charged... Uh, Almost 95,000 95, yeah. for this. Yeah. Now I'm talking about 12 years back. Yeah. And uh, praise Jesus. So praise Jesus. I must praise Jesus here also because when I came and asked for my uh, the medical, uh, my bank to pay, they gave me 100% 95,000. Praise God. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> I was not in the board. Let me tell you, it never happens. They do the deductions, but I was given 100%. Okay. Mm -hmm. So equivalent to 95,000. Now, when I came here, I started having many symptoms, side effects, actually. And mm -hmm. I, my bleeding did not stop. My bleeding did not stop. I was having continuous bleeding every day for three months. I'm supposed, it was supposed to stop. And I called her from here. And she said that no, you, you take the iron tablets every day. You cannot consume iron tablets every day. It will yeah. give you another problem, right? Yeah. So uh, I did not take and I waited for two months, three months. I started getting tremors. I was started getting, uh, I was getting many other issues uh, because of this, because this did not agree with me. And I was all not understanding because I never took medicines in my life. Okay. So when I got reaction, I went and told my boss that because his wife is, uh, 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 they have family doctors. So he co uh, connected me to their family doctor. I went to her uh, hospital and she immediately, see, she said, I have, you have to remove it right now. Yeah. And she removed it. As she removed, she put me on some hormonal tablets for a few days, only for one week. She said, no, I, I will not give you for more than one week. And after that, you stop. And because, you know, the something as removed from your body, right, which was mm. put, so you have to balance it. So she gave me the hormonal tablets and I took it. As I uh, took those tablets and after some time, as I started, and, and that's the time I started also uh, confessing the scriptures, okay? And okay. Uh, I started confessing the scriptures and all the, uh, you know, I started getting back to normal. My sleep pattern, everything changed, all the symptoms slowly, slowly, slowly. Uh, they reduced and then gradually they disappeared. Praise Jesus. Now, yeah. now the bleeding issue, what was there in the past, it stopped. Uh, bleeding is there still, okay? I'm still having. Uh, but, you know, uh, what I'm telling here, at times we go and spend everything. Everything that we have. The way I did, I uh, spent 95000 just for a daycare, what they did yeah. to me. 95,000. So imagine this woman, how much money she must have because she, it is written over there what it is say she had suffered a great deal from many doctors and over the years she had spent everything she had to pay. That means now when she came to Jesus, did she have anything? No, nothing was left. Ah. Uh, life <laughs> Yeah. Uh, when we have uh, <laughs> <laughs> when we lose everything, that time we remember God. Right. Correct? Right. Now, she had heard about him. Did she hear about him to come there? Yes. Yeah, she heard. She heard about him. Yeah. Now, when she came there, did she come with faith? Yeah, she had come with faith. Yes. That I, uh, she had come with faith. Hmm. But then no. uh, since since she couldn't face the crowd, so she was just thinking only that only if I touch us, I will get healed. No need of me going in front of him or something. That will, your thinking, will, will your thinking heal you now? My question to all of you here, will your thinking heal you? No, it will uh, go naturally. She, actually, she, she was thinking with faith, you know, that is why it... it no, actually, actually, her thinking did not heal her. That power, I think, from God, uh, Jesus pulled it out. Okay, so let me explain to you all. Okay, let me explain to you all. Now, what yeah. I, uh, okay, because it's, I, it's, it's open to all the women here. Huh? Uh, all yeah. can take part, okay? Uh, that's why I want to teach you all and I want you all to get, uh, you know, uh, take part in the teachings, okay? Now, uh, she had heard about Jesus, so she came up behind him through the crowd and touched his robe. Okay, in some places it is written hem of his garment, means that yeah. means at the edge, edge the of edge. the robe, right? Yeah, the yeah. edge. Hmm. Correct. So, uh, hem, uh, uh, the ladies will know what is hem. We all have the hem, hemming stitch at the bottom of our dresses, correct? So, yeah. that means she just touched that part of it. And uh, but before touching, because when she saw the crowd, so much of crowd, so much of crowd, only one word was in her, her mind that he, only if I touch his robe, only if I touch his robe, did yeah. it go in her spirit? Yeah. 
it went yes. in his yeah. spirit did it go into the spirit of god it went in the yeah. spirit it went it, in the spirit yeah that's why i asked ayon did because she was connected in spirit did it connect with the spirit of jesus yeah 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 okay now you are understanding she had faith plus she was keeping on imagining the mm. thinking means what she was imagining also right if i yeah. touch i will be healed if mm. i touch i will be healed she did not even think that oh this man should lay ha- his hand upon me and i will be healed her yeah. thoughts were not mixed yeah. she had one thought that if i can just touch his robe i will be healed correct yeah. it means see the why she was thinking that way why she was thinking that way can somebody tell me yeah because at that time they were not supposed you know to roam like that out it was uh, according to law it was a sin no for them yeah according to the law she was not supposed to be also with the men there yeah that issue because she is unclean yeah she is unclean yes, unclean and uh, you know she was more so afraid and uh, so because of all these things because uh, she couldn't go right in front and she is she was cornered god knows how she was walking also with that uh, because he, he, jesus wouldn't sit in one place no all the time yeah he you have to follow him yeah. jesus yeah. is to walk i don't know how much he used to walk i don't think he has uh, only to cross the uh, you know from one one border to another border he must have used to the boards but uh, otherwise he was walking all the time yeah correct right? so mm. it is it is you know the 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 thought itself became flesh thought mm. thought every time she was thinking even from home she must have you know left the house saying that only if i touch his mm. robe mm. or the hem of his garment i will be healed now mm. when she when she reached there she go, see it is not uh, and she and she goes and touched his robe touch behind him through the crowd and touch this robe correct yeah because the power of god the holy spirit was in jesus now when she touched immediately the bleeding stopped now who was watching when she was thinking all this jesus is not watching but the holy spirit was knew about it hmm. god knew about it right yeah immediately uh you know the the bleeding stopped and she could feel in her body that she had been healed of a terrible condition that means she must have felt that her uterus going back to the place over is taking the right full position yeah. and you know there is that there must have been some kind of changes moment in her body to as a sign yeah, of healing right yeah signs yes. and wonders right yes because you know sister now you are no it is written immediately the bleeding stop and she could feel now i'll tell you my same uh, condition of yesterday it was paining me so badly that when i went to pass urine and i came out you know i suddenly i felt you know something like moving uh, leaving me from my body and that pain just went and i was released completely released so i can understand this line praise god Jesus, yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes we all wait for the signs to show <laughs> us that we are healed or not. It's not a bad thing, actually. Yeah. When you are in faith, you know, you will have those signs. When you are in faith, when you are believing, faith means I my more focus on believing. Okay, faith means yeah. I don't want people to say I have faith. That is not your faith. Faith yeah, is yeah. believing. Your faith yeah. means I'm talking about the faith believing. so mm-hmm. immediately the bleeding stopped and she could feel in her body that she had been healed of her terrible condition okay now sister read after that the disciple said to, the disciple said to him look at no, this no, crowd no no 30 30 oh, no, jesus 30, 30. realized okay, yeah. jesus realized at once that healing power had gone out from him so he turned round in the crowd and asked who touched my robe his disciples said to him look at this crowd pressing around you how can you ask who touched me but he kept on looking around to see who had done it 
then the fright then the frightened woman trembling at the realization of what had happened to her came and fell to her knees in front of him and told him what she had done and he said to her daughter your faith has made you well go in peace your suffering is over praise jesus okay we are we are uh, going to the next one after this okay so sister go back to 30 because i can't see the screen here okay yeah. praise jesus so jesus realized at once that healing power had gone out of him so when the, that means jesus had all the powers in him and that's the uh, healing power is the holy spirit power right praise god so, praise jesus so he turned around into the crowd and asked who touched my robe i am sure jesus did not uh, jesus did not know who touched his robe i'll tell you because the crowd was so much yeah crowd was so much okay so that's yeah. why he is asking now when he asked he wanted somebody like uh, he wanted that person to be faithful correct yeah he wanted that person to be faithful uh, like people some some people say that oh you you think that jesus did not know that uh, somebody touched his robe maybe he knew may not be but he wanted to see that how faithful that person is yeah so uh, the disciple said to him look at this crowd pressing around you how can you ask mm -hmm. who touched me simple because you can imagine now even the disciples couldn't make out yeah but he kept on looking around to see who had done it now tell me he kept on looking around to see who had done it he was looking for the person who had done it yeah whether that person touched and ran away or person touched and waiting there to testify mm. jesus wanted a testimony if she yeah. had not given the testimony how we would have got this today yeah right <laughs> actually jesus loves women no yeah <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. of that today we have this scripture today we have this testimony and those who have the bleeding issues they can take this uh, promise and they can speak over their bleeding issue and they can be healed yes see with this uh, with this uh, 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 promise i had made one uh, prayer with one of the sisters uh, at gc island and uh, she had uh, her bleeding had stopped because of the cancer treatment Mm. Can you imagine she, after without even my knowledge that her bleeding had stopped, and I when she called me for something else for her hand, and when I was praying, I said, I release all the hormones in your body, and I command them to be balanced right now in Jesus' name. And she was shocked. At the end of the this, she's saying, How do you know that I don't? I'm not getting the periods. I said, I didn't speak about your periods. It's the Holy Spirit who. spoke through me yeah. because when somebody comes to you it's not you it's the holy spirit tells you what you need to do yes correct yes and i she is after no next day i think or yeah next day she got a periods praise god praise god after how many after almost 2 years oh. and the doctor said she will never get because of the treatment because of the chemo she has taken and her sister is getting the periods now regularly yes please jesus because for us for women uh, this topic is basically for women today because for us yeah. women uh, you know the hormone uh, hormonal balance is very important correct because when you get your monthly cycle on time regularly you are healthy yeah the moment it stops then all the other problems start you know cropping up in your body correct mm. those who have gone through early menopause they will uh, they they will know the side effects of it those who have removed the uterus they will know the side effects of it those who have taken the hormonal tablets they will know the side 
effects of it. But God has given us a scripture here. Don't go for all that. You know, when I went to the hospital, the doctor said to remove the uterus for me and I refused actually. Mm. The reason I refused, because this is given to me by my father God who created, yeah. he created right. in me and I'm against anything that what he gave me to remove. Mm. So when I told her, uh, her that I will not remove, that is the time she gave me the second option. Okay. Yeah. Praise Jesus, I'm still healthy. Everything is good with me in the name of Jesus. Yes. Correct? Yes. So, yes. Amen, this is this is a testimony for every woman in the world, those who are having the issue with their monthly periods. I am not saying that when you speak this monthly, uh, this scripture, your monthly periods will stop. No. It will come to normal. Correct? Those who are not having, they will get it back. That's why when I pray during the tongue session, I pray that that every uterus, every uh, ovary is gone back to the normal position and the periods are normal. The flow is normal. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. So it is now when this lady, uh, she saw that, you know, the, her problem was solved and Jesus is looking in the crowd to know who is this person touched me okay now when he when the disciples are telling that you know we don't know who touched you because of the crowd but still is looking for her is still looking for her yeah. he kept on looking then <laughs> the woman must have i'm sure he must have looked at her like you know she must have yeah. got frightened now <laughs> better i go in front <laughs> and tell everything okay so she comes trembling in at the realization of what happened to her. She comes and fall to fell to her knees in front of him and told him what she had done. Now see the surrendering. Jairus surrendered. Yeah. The woman with bleeding issue surrendered. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. So what it shows for here for every one of us when we see we are falling at the foot of jesus total surrender yeah. now when she surrendered he saw that he, you know she was humble and he said to her daughter your faith has made you well when the faith made well what's the next word he said go in peace your suffering is over what we do normally, even after receiving the healing, we are restless. Yes. All right. Now, this is what kept her healing. What is that? Peace. Mm -hmm. Those days, now we have the YouTube, we have that source, resource, this one, everything. We have that we can play the uh, teachings, right? Yeah. But those days, only somebody had to preach. And what, who was doing the uh, preaching? Jesus. Correct? Yeah. Now, for this, for every day, is it possible for you to go to listen to his preachings? No, no? No. So he tells her that God has healed you. You are made well. Now your faith has made you well. You are healed. Now go in peace. Mm. What is important for us to rest after our healing? Now, when I say rest, please don't go and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Many people have this habit. Sister said rest. Now I don't have to do anything. Now rest means always thank God. Always yes. thank God. That is resting in peace. Not resting in peace means uh, re uh, rest in peace. RIP, no, I'm not telling that. Go in peace, rest in peace means that you just keep your mind free and keep thanking and praising God mm. that your suffering is over. He says that your suffering is over. Mm. So she will keep her that uh, healing just by resting, correct? Yes. Just by resting what God has done. 
is so amazing. Jesus healed me. I just touched the hem of his garment and he healed me completely. No doctor could touch me, uh, could heal me. I have spent everything, but he saved me. Yeah. See, praise yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Our Jesus is something amazing. Nobody will understand him when people do not know him. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. We can go with the cardinal mind and argue with somebody. But if you really go with the spirit mind and try to understand Jesus is way of teaching, is way of living and is way because many people have started misinterpreting his teachings, right? And thank God we are saved from it. We are getting right. Praise Jesus. So next one, sister. Verse 35. Continue from there. While he was still speaking to her, messengers arrived from the home of Jairus, the leader of the synagogue. They told him, your daughter is dead. There is no use troubling the teacher now. But Jesus overheard, him, overheard them and said to Jairus, don't be afraid, just have faith. Then, then Jesus stopped the crowd and wouldn't let anyone go with him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they came to the home of the synagogue leader, Jesus saw, saw much commotion and weeping and wailing. He went inside and asked, why all this commotion and weeping? The child isn't dead. She is only asleep. The crowd laughed at him, but he made them all leave. And he took the girl's father and mother and his three disciples into the room where the girl was lying. Holding her hand, he said to her, Talita Kom, which means little girl, get up. And the girl who was 12 years old immediately stood up and walked around. They were overwhelmed and totally amazed. Jesus gave them strict orders not to tell anyone what had happened. And then he told them to give her something to eat. Praise Jesus. Go, yeah, go praise back, God. Jesus, sister, to 35. Mm -hmm. Now, while reading this, what did you notice in both the miracles, in both the testimonies? Something similar did you notice? 12, 12. Number 12. The, the number okay. 12. <laughs> and the other one, both are girls. Yeah, that is, really, this is yeah, yeah, correct? She had 12 years bleeding and this daughter is 12 years, 12 years old. now uh, Jaira says that my daughter is dying correct my daughter is dying in between this woman comes yeah now what happens like this woman comes in between did Jesus say no woman now I have to go to Jairus' house. His daughter is dying. That is more important. I can, whoever has touched my garment, I can check on that woman later on. But first, let me go to Jairus' house. Did he say that? No. See, you could have done it, right? Yeah. A simple thought. Yeah. No. Because Jesus knows that nothing is impossible with him. Yes. To the Father. Yeah. Praise yeah. Jesus. Because... Jesus' confidence was not in his faith, but the faith of God in him, the Father. Yeah. Jesus said always that Father and I are one, right? Yeah. So his confidence was not in him. His confidence was in the Father and the Holy Spirit that was in him. So even when the people came and told Jairus, his people came and said, do not trouble the Master. Your daughter is dead. There is no use of troubling this teacher now. Mm. But Jesus overheard. That mm. means he was still talking to that woman. <laughs> Correct? <laughs> Jesus, Jesus loved to have the conversation with the women. <laughs> we saw that. Uh, we saw that. Uh, uh, which women that uh, drawing woman the water. Woman at the woman. well. Yeah, woman yeah, at the well. Samaritan woman. Because he, because what I found, you know, actually I was laughing when I was reading that. 
I said, you are so smart. You are so smart. You know that if anything you do with the women, they can go and put, you know, lit the fire everywhere. Yeah. Correct? So they yeah. are the one who went and preached about him. Mm -hmm. That's why he knows that it's better to talk to women than to the men. Because the men that, <laughs> you know, men that who you he taught... Uh, like I'm talking about the 12 apostles, when he died, yeah. they went back to their business. Yeah, right. But the women who were sitting and weeping and waiting for him. And the yeah. women are the one, the woman, the Mary Magdalene is the one who preached to Jesus first yeah. about his resurrection. So who is the who is the preacher, men or women, the first preachers? The women. <laughs> See? <laughs> So is, is Jesus not smart at that time? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. He was, you know, he was teaching Mary and Martha also. See? Yeah. So, that time also. Yeah, because he had a soft corner for every woman. Because mm -hmm. he knows that every woman is very precious. Very precious. Because... Uh, you know, uh, at times I asked the father why he had such a soft corner, soft heart for every woman. You know, because in the paradise, what happened? Yeah. One man's disobedience, woman had to suffer. Mm. Correct? Yeah. All the curses came on her. Labor pain, this, that, so many things. Yeah. So Jesus knew that what the women or, or ra rather the women are going through. So he goes inside now. Praise Jesus. This is actually, uh, to be very honest with you all, I'm not prepared any notes. Huh? I'm just teaching from the screen what I'm reading here. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. So when he heard, he says, what did Jesus say? Do not be afraid. Just have faith. Have faith. He did not say have faith in me. Did he say Jesus? Did no. Jesus say have faith in me? No. Have faith. Just have faith. Have faith. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of faith it could be? It's amazing, no? Yeah. When we speak to the people, we say have faith in God. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Faith in, have faith in God. Nothing will happen. Yeah. We don't say just have faith. Now, when I say have faith, that means that person is at rest, completely at rest. He didn't say have faith in me. He didn't say have faith in God. He didn't say right. anything. Right. Then, he's, then Jesus talked to the crowd and wouldn't let anyone to go with him except Peter, James and John, the brother of James' wife. Why did not take everybody? Because everybody was mocking. You would have said, oh, come on, everybody inside. Now see the miracle I'm going to make. You're, yeah. you're all good laughing outside. No, come. You could have said mm. that, right? Yeah. But why he did not take each every person inside? Why he take, or took only these three uh, favorites of him? Because always he took these two or three people. Yeah. And the others did not. Uh, unbelief was also there no, in those people. Yeah, because Jesus did not want them to speak something nonsense inside. Yeah, when he is, that, yeah. right. It's not that, you know, because of their unbelief, she wouldn't rise, but he did not want them to talk nonsense. Mm. You see, he, he was doing for the glory of his father. Yes. So he had to keep that place sanctified by others. Right. Separated. Sanctified means separated. And when they came to home of the synagogue, Jesus saw much commotion and weeping and wailing. He went inside and asked, why all this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead. She is only asleep. Do you think mm. that they believed? Because the report is already given. Mm. Child is already dead. Mm. What do we do when we get the report? Child is dead means dead. We finish, finish. We, yeah. we will finish. We will send our report to everybody by WhatsApp. Yeah. This is what happened few uh, two years back.
when I had ministered to one of the, uh, <clears throat> uh, she came and gave the testimony in uh, in uh, uh, breakfast with Jesus, that is Melbourne session. Um, Priyanka, if you all remember, those who heard it. Uh, it so happened, it so happened, somebody connected. I, uh, we were uh, in the meeting in the evening. Uh, we were having the Bible session in the evening. Okay, not uh, my Bible session. I was joining some group on Friday and somebody calls me, okay, uh, from the warrior group. And she say, uh, because I did not answer the call, she sends me a message, a voice message. And uh, I didn't listen to a message. So because I did not uh, listen to a message, because you can see that, no, mark coming, pick mark. So yeah. she sent me, she sent me a message saying that, uh, that no, uh, she sent, it, sent me a message saying that, you know, uh, so and so person uh, is sick. Uh, can you please um, uh, call me? So I told that person, send me that person's number. Whoever is sick, no, send me his, uh, his uh, father's number. So she said, I'm already ministering to the, his father for the past two weeks. I said, send me his, uh, if he's married, send me his wife's number. So she sends me the number. I called the uh, wife the, of the person who is uh, in the hospital in the ICU where the doctors have given some report, which I will tell you uh, once I finish here. Uh, she said that uh, I, she, when I called her, she said that I'm outside with my child. I cannot take the call because when I go home, I will speak to you. I, I will speak to you. And she called me when she reached home. Okay, praise Jesus. As I ministered to her, as I shared the word of God, she finished everything with me after one hour she goes inside to the parents of the bob her husband that means her in-laws and says hey listen you guys whatever messages you have sent to your friends and the relatives i want you to send them a message saying that your son is healed and is coming home yeah. you receive what i said yeah okay and uh, I didn't talk to her. That's the message she sent. Uh, she told them. She went to their room and told. And uh, she is surprised after that what happened. And then next day in the morning, the doctor calls her around, I think, morning in the sense uh, 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the morning. And uh, he says that, uh, yes, husband had already, he was already dead. You know, when I'm saying dead, this is the word here. Okay, mm -hmm. the word that is used here that the, how people were saying that his people said that she's already dead, yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. Already, he already he was dead, but suddenly heart started reviving. Praise Lord. Praise Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, when I'm telling you this, how come his heart got revived? When I ministered the word to this uh, wife of that bra uh, man, when she went inside and uh, uh, she called me next day, I said, then she told me all these things that what happened. She said, in my life, she's from a born again church, okay? Born again. Okay. I'm talking about the denomination, okay? Yeah. yeah. Not the born again like you and me, okay? Yeah. So she's from that church. She said, from my church, nobody called me or prayed the way you taught me to pray. And uh, the prayer that you made and the confession that you gave me, it shook me completely at, at that moment. And the, the voice said that your husband is alive. Because they had received a message from the hospital with, just before I could speak to her. Just before. Mm. Okay? And it is not a coincidence. It is, a, it is the, you know, the work, miracle, that uh, the work of the Holy Spirit, I can say. And she said that, uh, you know, when you spoke to me, the, I could, it was not like somebody speaking. I felt that the Holy Spirit is talking to me directly. And when I went inside and told my, uh, because her, his parents had already sent the message, is in Lord's house. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Pray for his soul. <laughs> now you understood, right? Yeah. He's in Lord's house. Pray for his soul. 
that means the doctor said that told them that he is not going to live and these people declared him dead he was dead there then after these people said but what happened is god it's for the glory of god she said the moment you give this message she told them come on send this message that your son he is completely recovered he is coming home okay and uh, when she said this the she made them to send the message she made them to send the message and she made them to confess what i gave them i gave it to her right along yeah. with yeah she sat with them the whole night i think they did it for one hour or, or so and they she started uh, they started confessing that and during the confession because night time the doctors will not call you right so they yeah. called when, only when things were be getting better they called must have called her in the morning so they called in the morning so she said sister i think this happened during the confession time i yeah. said it happened not during the confession time the time you received the word yeah you understand mm. the mom was at work but when they started recalling those messages and sending the right message because if they had sent the message you know the not uh, uh, send the ne next message perhaps you know no nobody could help because they themselves are declaring there no that is dead yeah yeah then he comes out of the uh, you know the icu and all then uh, you know covid thing you all know how how yeah. critical this was there he was in such a critical case uh, this condition and uh, <clears throat> praise god everything now is going to work is back at workplace is uh, working for the american embassy praise jesus he is healthy he is strong and uh, of course she is not uh, listening to jclm teachings but uh, she learned how to pray Mm, praise God. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Important thing is we should know how to pray. Yeah, right. That's what we have we have learned. And and this uh, you know, <laughs> then um, I, I was the person who sent me all the messages and all. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I did not listen to your messages. I'm very sorry for that because I did not want to listen any crap. and uh, i just uh, believed that he is uh, he, he is healed and she came and gave the testimony and i was there that uh, uh, her husband's colleague also shared the number and all she was there on the platform and uh, she also imagined that you know that uh, his colleague was uh, ministering to his father because father and son were working in the same uh, embassy okay with her and then uh, she said uh, that you know uh you know she was also imagining the angels of god the ministering spirits would come and fix his uh, uh, lungs and all those things praise god so she was also work, uh, praying for him and uh, everything you know happened so good then next time what happened is this sister this uh, the the girl's uh, uh, sister in law brother's wife she was diagnosed with cancer after 6 months which one priyanka's priyanka's brother's wife yeah. okay in dubai, in dubai so she yeah. calls me early morning and says that my uh, brother's uh, wife is uh, diagnosed with cancer and uh, sister we should be are going for the second opinion i said don't worry i gave her a, a confession and i prayed with her and i said the reports are already written the ministering agent uh, angels have gone and uh, written the reports she is cancer free there is no cancer after one hour she sends me the message that she she has no cancer praise jesus <laughs> praise god so now this second incident uh, you know made her faith strong yeah now third the third thing what she did when she started going back to work she, uh, one of her colleague was not having babies okay. she never conceived for so many years okay she's from the same church and all she was saying so i gave her the, i made a confession because with that confession i had given to my uh, one of my colleague and she got to, uh, twins okay so i gave the <laughs> twins but one died because of uh, some uh, okay. thing yeah but the other one uh, survived so she got twins so uh, so i gave her this one and, and i told her share this with your colleague and she got baby the womb was blessed praise jesus 
So now what I am saying here is, it is, you know, when Jesus did the miracles, Jesus did the miracles for a reason. Yeah. Why did he why did he do this miracles and why these testimonies are documented? To to glorify God. And to grow in faith. Yeah. Your faith increases when you see the results. Yes. yes. This is what people do not understand. People receive their healing, but they forget to glorify God later on. Yes, yes. Then, they, then what happens? Sickness comes back again. Yeah, because you don't know how to keep your healing. <laughs> Where do you want to how do you keep your healing? <laughs> Praise God. After, after you receive your healing, what do you do? You go and watch Big Boss? <laughs> Sorry, <come up. laughs> Correct? Really, people don't continue. They, yeah. uh, they are so happy that they have, you know, healed that they go again back to their old life. The yes, old life, Jesus. yeah, because they, the reason they don't try to understand the truth, how can I keep the healing? And uh, uh, what does the Bible says? If I have received the healing today, oh, uh, how did I receive? This is now, now, for example, for when I share the word of God, uh, I share with understanding teaching. Sister Sharada, you are here. Can you speak? Sister Sharada? Sister Sharada is new to the platform. When you called me first time, did you get the understanding? Yes, sister. So why do we give the understanding on the uh, word of God? Why do we give the understanding not later on or first we just pray with you and okay, you're done and come back with a testimony. Why do we give the understanding? The reason we give the understanding so that you not only receive the healing or your favor you will receive, but you will also learn how to go and minister to others and see the glory of God in others before the thing is happening in you, right? Sister Leonie and Tracy. Yeah. Yes. Correct? Yes, sister. Sister, I also want to share my testimony. Yeah, please go regarding ahead. Regarding this, my uterus problem, as you were saying, I was also or like um, inspired by God, by Holy Spirit to share my testimony. All these days I have never done. I used to say to my close associations about my the problem which I faced, but it is not in the form of testimony. Just I would like to introduce myself to you all. I'm new to this platform. Uh, my name is Sharada and uh, I'm 57 years old. I worked as a teacher, trainer, uh, and, and uh, my designation was medical science English trainer. And I work for Ministry of Health in Muscat. Uh, in 2021, I resigned and came um, when I was uh, 55 year old. And now this is my second year here in India. Uh, I purposely left the place uh, thinking that I would start a ministry uh, or do any social service. After coming here, uh, I joined a Master of Social Work. I don't know, I was in crossroads. I don't know how to start my ministry, whether it, it was uh, going to be a community service or whether it is going to be a spiritual service. Still, I was not able to decide because I am... Uh, mm, fully rooted in word, but partially rooted in, uh, in fully rooted in world, but partially rooted in word. So I don't know how to start and I don't know how to apply word of God uh, for, for the situation and on me. Uh, now JCILM, when I heard a few videos, I was inspired to contact you all. And uh, recently I contacted uh, through helpline, Sister Clara contacted me and uh, uh, I shared my problem with her, recent problem. And we both prayed and she shared a word of God and I was so happy and inspired. And I felt that this is the right platform God is leading me. 
because all these days I used to read uh, Word of God, but I never used to understand it fully. And uh, I was actually waiting that some priest or somebody should come and help me out. But I, actually, I don't know that I should take the help of Holy Spirit. I should be uh, deeply rooted in Holy Spirit so that I will have the power to uh, to apply this word on my personal life on for my personal problems. And when, when it comes to my testimony in 2018, uh, I had menopausal bleeding, heavy bleeding. Then I consulted uh, Apollo Hospital in Muscat. Immediately they did scanning and they said that uh, uh, your fallopian tube, tubes are disappeared and uh, I, they scared me a lot and they said that immediately you have to go for uterus removal and uh, it will cost around uh, three lakhs Indian rupees and um, immediately I was also scared uh, since I'm not deeply rooted in word uh, and I am uh, uh, fully rooted in world I was consulting my friends my colleagues and my reports have been sent to Australia uh, to one of my colleagues uh, niece and she said um, auntie you have to advise uh, auntie Sharada to go to uh, India and um, immediately go for uterus removal just uh, looking at the scanning report she advised me from Australia but uh, I was also thinking that why should I get worried about all these people saying removal uterus removal so let me have a second opinion I thought and uh, within a couple of weeks, I had my annual leave. I came to India and here I uh, consult a gynae. Uh, she said, uh, okay, I will do a scan. And she did the scanning and she said, yes, there seems to be some problem in your uterus. Uh, I think there is a uterus lining has thickened and uh, you, you are not supposed to have this much of thickness. So we have to go for um dnc then immediately she asked me to join the uh, the very next day i went there i admitted and she did the dnc then after that she said uh, i found uh, poly polyps in your uterus and uh, i did a polypectomy uh, but i'm not go going to charge for polypectomy i will charge only for dnc and she charged me with uh, 7500 rupees Whereas Apollo Muscat charged three lakhs and they wanted to get rid of my uterus. So praise God, I really didn't uh, get that much of scared that I immediately I didn't join in Apollo Hospital. Then later on, uh, I uh, and she, she a doctor here, gynec in India, she said that uh, uh, we are going to send this uh, a biopsy for, to Bombay and it will take one week's time for the reports to come uh, and um, only I have 10 days to come back to Muscat. My annual uh, leave is going to finish. So within one week, I will get my reports. If it is uh, cancerous, then I have to go for further treatment. In the meantime, my um, maybe I don't know how many days I have to stay back if that was the case. So one week time, uh, uh, I will get the report and another three days for me to uh, get ready to pack up for my to go back to musket so that was the case and uh, after uh, coming out from the hospital my nephew was driving the car I sat next to him and uh, my nieces were behind we were just driving and I was just pondering on this uh, uh, my reports after one week um, I should get normal reports what to do if the reports are, if it is cancerous, what am I supposed to do? Another three days only, then uh, that means uh, ten, within 10 days, I have to go back. Uh, if it is cancerous, I have to stay back. So, so many confusing things I was having. And I, as I was driving, uh, I could see two autos next, both the sides of my car. And behind one auto, there is a... Uh, Christian, I never used to see this uh, Christian uh, scriptures or behind autos before that. But that particular day, um, this was just to, God wants me to uh, feel uh, 
comfortable maybe so for that he is he, that that verse shows my grace is sufficient for you in my language in telugu and on, on left side my grace is sufficient for you then immediately my eyes turned around and i looked right side of my car and be, uh, behind that auto also there was one more saying this battle belongs to me so these two verses actually was comforting me like i i don't have parents and i don't have husband and uh, children i'm single uh, and i only depend upon my nephews my nieces my brothers and sisters so i felt that like a parent like mother and father one side my father is comforting me my grace is sufficient for you another side this battle belongs to god and this is in my language na krupa neku chalunu left side yuddhamu yehovade that was on the right side so these two words comforted me and all through maybe for Two kilometers. These two autos were one one on the either side, and I was just uh, 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 looking left side, and I was meditating on this word, and looking right side, and I was meditating on that word. So God was there all through, but actually I didn't recognize God and Holy Spirit. They were all through my life, twenty one years of my life here in Muscat. also i faced challenges but i could overcome only because of god's grace because his grace is sufficient and my life also says that all the battles i went i went through it is not my battle but the but god fought my battles so this god clearly through this scripture he is showing that he was there all through right from my mother's womb until dated until today until this second sister praise god and uh, when i was in my mother's womb also my mother uh, didn't want me because i'm the seventh child and my mother got pregnant when she was 45 years old my eldest brother was 21 my second uh, another sister was 18 another sister was 16 so she felt bad to to get pregnant in that late age so she for 8 months she started she took uh, uh, medicines to abort me right from day 1 she came to know that she conceived until 8th month but still nothing happened because in jeremiah chapter god has said i have uh, formed you in your mother's womb and i know you so maybe god has a special plan it's not maybe god really has a special plan uh, towards my life even though my mother didn't want me even though i was unwelcomed and uninvited person in the family still god wanted me for his greater glory and uh, among all my siblings god has blessed me abundantly and i am i'm a post graduate i did my ba then miraculously Uh, when i was in retreat god spoke to me and uh, and i was uh, i got selected uh, uh, to work in ministry of education 21 years i i worked there and i earned a lot i took care of three generations my brother my siblings my siblings children my ch- siblings children's children that is my grandchildren also i take care now and uh, god has given me enough i have earned a lot i have a good bank balance uh, but uh, only thing is now i have to do community service and i don't know how to start so even though uh, people around sometimes i was taken for granted but maybe this is i i trust people uh, and maybe this is this is how i also got cheated many times but anyway everything happens for good maybe god still wants to build this strong hold on my life i think so recently i started uh, watching the uh, uh, jclm uh, videos and uh, uh, i got inspired then i thought okay let me join this group uh, and maybe by by this uh, by joining this group maybe i will i will get deeply rooted into word of god and maybe 
God will inspire me how to go about with my, whether it is community service or spiritual service. God has a plan for everything. Only thing is that um, the plan should be manifested in my life through belief uh, by applying word of God and by uh, getting closer to uh, Holy Spirit. So I joined your group, sister. I'm just, uh, my, I just to sow my seed and it is just getting watered. Uh, through Sister Clara, and one fine day uh, it will be sprouted and it will uh, it will grow or to and it will give shade for many more uh, uh, people and for many more souls. And I wish this sister praise God, thank you God. And I I am very proud to share this uh, testimony of mine. And when the reports came, I was non cancerous. And as I planned, I went back to Muscat within 10 days. And, but I did not share this sort of testimony uh, with uh, uh, believers or in the ministry. I used to say this to my close friends and colleagues. But uh, in this platform, it is, uh, it is the day that God has given me uh, to share this testimony. And the word that we just now we spoke also is related to 12 years of bleeding and uh, this Mark chapter. Then when uh, sister was sharing her testimony of over bleeding and all, then I felt like uh, sharing my testimony, sister. Uh, and um, in future, maybe I will be sharing many more testimonies and I will also uh, bring souls to your kingdom and God's kingdom. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise Jesus. Lovely testimony, isn't it? Yeah, so, Jesus. for the glory of God, I was yes. just, uh, it was, it was just, you know, I was, um, uh, I can say I was intoxicated with the word because uh, the reason I'm telling here, uh, see, <clears throat> Sister Sharita, uh, yes. I'm also coming from a very big family, okay, and uh, I, I'm the fifth girl in a row, you can imagine now, fifth girl in a row, one girl in a row, yes. right? <laughs> but praise God, uh, God knows each and every one of us before we were planted in a mother's womb, before we were planted, because we all were with the father in the spirit. I explained to you this right other day. We were all with the father. So now when we come in this world, why did he send us? He, he, we have he has sent for an assignment. We all have an assignment. Uh, assignment, we have to find out what is my assignment. Now, how do you find out? By speaking to the Holy Spirit. You have to ask the Holy Spirit every day. Now, whatever has happened in our life, it has happened because uh, it could be because, uh, uh, see, we can't blame anyone for the reason. <clears throat> Bible is given, we are born in a, uh, for you, you are a Hindu. You are, you are coming from a Hindu family. You were a Hindu. You are a Christian now. Okay? We, Christians. Now I have another two sisters here. They're Christians, right? Sister Leonie and yes. Gracie, both of you. Christians. We are born Christians, but we didn't know Jesus so much. Yes. <laughs> so we have to be blamed. It is our ignorance in our case. But in your case, <clears throat> God chooses the Gentiles, correct? I'm a, I was also a Gentile. We don't know. I am not coming from a Jewish family. I'm not coming from a, um, uh, uh, from the country God had chosen, Israel. I am also a Gentile. Sister Leonie, Sister Gracie, they are also Gentiles. You are also a Gentile. But you were born in a different faith, coming from a different faith, and you have accepted Christ. And God has chosen you when you were in your mother's womb. That's why he kept you alive. That's why he kept you alive. It could, you may have received or reached a group of uh, people, uh, you know, the, uh, we don't say uh, ministry or anything because it's an independent ministry of everyone. You see, Sister Leonie goes and preach, uh, shares the word with somebody. I go and share. Sister Gracie does. We all come up with some. Today, we have very few people. There are otherwise many people come and give their testimonies. So, just close this. So we have we have many people joining here because this class we had break for two weeks. So many, many people are not come here. So we go and do independently 
but we serve one god we serve one god and you are now part of the ministry and you will learn many things everything we do through the word of god and when everything comes we only glorify god no glory because these god said don't touch my glory right god said don't touch my glory it is written in the bible if you go in the old testament don't touch my glory glory belongs to him so we do it everything for the glory of god and you will learn many things and here we help one another to learn also and through the teachings we get the foundation praise jesus praise jesus thank you jesus what sister leoni what you have to say about her testimony about her uh, yeah, journey with really yeah it's very very interesting i was just listening and uh, she as she will listen to the word of god she's going to pick up very soon praise god praise god she will bring lot of souls to the kingdom yeah praise god sister thank you jesus praise you jesus anointing is already in you now but we impart the anointing of the holy spirit still which is in us in you see yes this sister. is how we this is how we live we live only for the glory of god we do only yes. for the glory of god now uh we don't take money from anybody right sister leoni no <laughs> we don't we don't take money from anyone for so many lives are saved okay jclm doesn't take money there is no word called you first tight and then you will receive your healing no we receive the healing because of jesus as finished it on the cross yes sister correct Mm -hmm. yes sister we don't see uh, ministry is not there in telangana no sister in arunachal pradesh right now brother yeah, uh, johnson is it's yeah uh, uh, telangana i don't think they have uh, but in malayalam you can understand malayalam i can understand sister i can't respond even tamil i can understand oh okay i think tamil tamil ministry is there i think mm -hmm. i'll get for you yeah tamil ministry is there yes yeah so you can start your ministry now in in jclm we don't wait for somebody to get qualified 100% there yes, is no sister. qualification we are all disqualified people doing the uh, qualified ministry <laughs> yes sister <laughs> huh? you, yes, you sister. Are... the way you were praying for others and uh, sister leona also prayed for others and how they were healed this is uh, in order this we are not doing anything commercially but mm. whatever we have that gift we are sharing among us like yeah. early christians used to do they used to share whatever yeah. is their belongings and whatever is the, uh, the that god's gift so the same thing uh, brother johnson has started and he has planted and you all are getting uh, sprouted and rooted in word of god and hopefully some uh, people i can collect even in uh, telangana area and the ministry it, will start go oh, praise you god can, you can start now sister sharada i'll tell you you just go and sow the word what you learn from here okay now after sowing yes. the word after planting the seed that what you have spoken you know what i did yes, i i'll tell all of you when i did the uh, started the ministry when i uh, Uh, people sometimes ministry means they they think that I have a big ministry. Nothing like that. Uh, ministry is this only, you know, going and sharing the word with the people. Now, when I did that, I did the work. Then I came and told the Father God in the morning the first prayer. That is, ah, uh, this is from the Bible only. I, I I use this promise, Father. I am I have planted the seed. Now you send the rain to grow each and every seed. And the harvest is plenteous, and all the harvest belongs to your kingdom. because it is his harvest this is that is what he has asked me to do i am doing because he wants the souls for his kingdom i am bringing the souls i plant i share the word now whose job is it is it is the job of the holy spirit he does it and i just rely on the holy spirit yes sister i also started one whatsapp group sister for one year it went on well 
Then I don't know, suddenly they all disappeared and now they don't want to gather for prayers. So maybe there's a Holy Spirit guidance I need. Uh, again, I have to start my okay. ministry through I'll give you online simple, ministry. I'll, I'll give you a simple uh, way of sharing the word. You have WhatsApp, right? Yes, sister. On the WhatsApp, every day put one scripture as your timeline. Yes, sister. Many people will read it. And those who have ignored it, after some time, they will start reading it. Yes, sister. Okay. You are just evangelizing. You are just sharing the word. At what yes, point sister. of time it has hit their spirit, nobody knows. For yes, me, sister. nobody came and preached, but one word which was preached there, that saying that uh, when Jesus says, the prince of, the, of this world has come, and I have got nothing, uh, yeah, and I have not, nothing to do. It's written in the uh, book of J uh, John. And when I read that, and when that was preached by Brother Johnson on the YouTube, I was shaken. I said, what? That means this world is not ruled by God, and this this guy is ruling. I said, wait, now your, your game is over. This is exactly what I said that day. I said, now I will teach you. And that's the time, that's the same day I, we shared the word and same day, same moment that night we saw the miracle. The testimony came at the same time. The total, total 100% backbone healing. The, uh, somebody had a backbone problem for many years in our building and she called for a uh, metacin crocin from Indian tablet she wanted. And we said, we don't have anything. Uh, that time I didn't know much uh, the uh, scriptures and all. I should have said that you know I don't have gold or silver, but I have Jesus come up. <laughs> 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 but what we said that we don't have Panadol, we don't have Crocin. Come up, we will do something because we have some God's medicine. This is what we said to her. Okay, we didn't speak like Paul, but we spoke what we came to came to our mind, and she came up with a daughter. And uh, my husband, uh, I spoke the truth. And her daughter held her hand and uh, the backbone pain left immediately. We made her to walk. She came from the second floor to the third floor and we sent her walking. And from that time till today, she has no back pain. Praise Jesus. Praise God. It was uprooted from its root. So this is called faith. This is yes, called sister. faith, believing in the unseen. And I took the step, a step of faith immediately. I didn't wait for somebody to uh, create a, a warrior group or something. We did it immediately. And we just walked by faith from that day. Until today, I am walking by that unseen, unseen Jesus. I'm just praying to him, saying, thinking that is he is here now, now when I'm speaking. Today, I did not even prepare the notes. People pre prepare the notes, no? Yeah. I, I have yes. stopped preparing the notes. I did it in the beginning. Very honestly speaking, I did it in the beginning. Then, But I was asking the Holy Spirit every time. I want to speak just the way Jocelyn and Brother Johnson speaks. <laughs> yeah, praise God. Jesus, for the past three, four classes, I've done this. <laughs> so this is how the, you know, uh, even Sister Leon, you have seen that when I went and preached on the Mariah, Mariah retreat, yeah. I didn't yeah. prepare the notes. I did not take the notes. I just spoke. Yeah. The anointing was just flowing. And nonstop. Somebody had to stop me there. <laughs> yeah. yeah and somebody sister, stopped today when i when i joined this uh your uh, session sister i was just thinking in my mind today i will be just like an uh, audience i will listen to all whatever sister is saying i'll take notes that's yeah. it then later on i'll get an idea and uh, later on i can participate but mm -hmm. actually, today's uh, Mark word and uh, about this uh, 12 years of bleeding and uh, this uh, testimony, this uh, whatever God has healed, this is something related to women problem, you said. Mm -hmm. Then you said your testimony. Then uh, Sister Leona also said about uh, her testimony. Then that is the time uh, I was getting inspired. But all around me, there is about thunder, windy weather, thunders and uh, children playing. And more from mosque, uh, there is this uh, today, you know, sister prayers are there. 
So if I unmute my mic, maybe you will get disturbed of all this noise. So this is how the devil works. Then I was just thinking maybe by the time this noise gets stopped, maybe the session will finish. And in the meantime, uh, I was trying to uh, uh, type uh, that uh, sister, can I share my testimony? In the meantime, you called and uh, you asked me to unmute sister. So this is how God worked also. God didn't want me to wait for one more week to, to stop this testimony. Immediately, he inspired me to share this. And the noise that was around also was uh, stopped me to share immediately. Uh, but praise God, the noise, uh, it became quiet. And in the meantime, you also called me, sister. This yes, is how is Holy Spirit works. Is it praise not amazing? God. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sister. And did we go after after five uh, after six o'clock? Did we continue? We always close by six o'clock. Yeah. Yes, sister. Uh, it's so amazing because you know uh, it is not that how many people have attended. You know, sister Sharada, I will tell you. Yes, if you look at my WhatsApp list, you will see the names of the people and the number of people I have ministered and received the healing. They are crossing 200. Okay. But how Please many people are interested to work for the kingdom? That's more important. Now, Leonie and Gracie, they are, yes. they are like the foundation. From the time yes, they sister. have received the words, from the time they have uh, received their healing, they are they, they know how to keep the healing, how to be rooted, how to go and share the word. They continuously bring the testimonies. Yes, sister. And uh, God, uh, when uh, Jesus healed 10 leprosy people, mm -hmm. only one came thanking. But yeah. now then God asked, uh, Jesus asked, where are the other uh, nine? I have mm -hmm. healed 10 and where are the other nine? So mm -hmm. the world is like this, sister. The yeah. uh, world takes uh, blessings, healings, but uh, they don't have time to thank or acknowledge or recognize and share their testimony. This they forget is, the blessed. They forget Jesus the blessed. Time, this is happening. Yeah. Yes, so sister. we all know that. And, you know, oh, I'm so happy that you are connected with uh, JCILM and uh, listen to the teachings, even if they are in English, because uh, the promises are same so that you can help uh, reach out to the people. And yes, you will sister. do amazingly good. This is the, this is what I've said. It is done. And uh, yeah. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit Praise is right Jesus. now flowing in you. Jesus. Praise Jesus. And uh, yeah. everything that has happened in your life in the past, it is all washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ. You have, Amen. you are a new creation in Christ Jesus. Yes, so sister. everything is new, a new, because now, when you look at the cross, you don't look at the cross. On that cross, Jesus is not there. You are there on the cross because Jesus went on your behalf, no? So you're going on yes, the sister. cross every time. So that is how we 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 learn here and we live our lives. Praise Jesus, we are yes. all working and we are still doing this for the glory of God. <laughs> yes, sister. Praise Jesus. Amazing yes, session yes, had today. So I think uh, we can close today here. I wanted to actually, uh, you know, take another scripture that is a uh, blind Bartimaeus, you know. Hmm. I think we can do next week. Yeah. yeah, we yeah. Can do next week. yeah. Because we learned, uh, I'm sure that we learned something today. Yes, yes sister. And uh, it is so nice that these testimonies are uh, recorded so that we women can get so much from here so much so much yeah. praise, God. praise yes, jesus Thank and you, also jesus. also believe that <clears throat> the way this woman she was thinking in her mind thought 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 your thought can also <clears throat> that's why what you think comes into action correct yeah yes sister now you have to learn from here. She did not open her mouth, but she was thinking. By thinking, mm -hmm. only she touched. The action was touching, correct? Yes, sister. See, the whole thing, if I summarize, she was thinking, she touched, and she received it. Yes, sister. But so, in the beginning, sister, in order to unmute, the noise around was disturbing. It's like, 
devil uh, evil was there around me darkness uh, it is a uh, trying uh, to stop me and, and in sharing this uh, my testimony sister i was just waiting when uh, this noise will stop but when yeah. i was like uh, when i started typing this sister can i share and in the meantime you also call me out my name then once i finished my testimony then again azan came I just finished testimony. If you observe, the Allah Akbar uh, sound came, and I immediately I muted my mic. Good. Thank when you. when I finished that azan came. See how when it is when Holy Spirit's guidance is there. How even though the darkness, evil, devil attacks, but still when we believe in Holy Spirit and when we believe in His uh, guidance. then whatever uh, is around us will vanish and immediately when i plan to say this sister uh, in, in initially sound was there noise was there children were playing around but uh, when i started typing when you called out my name sister everything became quiet and silent till i finished my testimony then once i finished my testimony and when you uh, when you took over that is the time adan also came Jesus. So, Jesus. We, thank we, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now we have to understand one thing that what the, you thought in your mind, you were trying to put in action. Meanwhile, yes, it it came to pass. That is what exactly happened with the woman with the bleeding issue, right? Yes, sister. She put into action. She was thinking and she put into action. So yes. praise Jesus. And uh, we, we that means now we can. I always tell you all sometimes pray, pray in spirit. That is praying in spirit also is thinking. Now praying in spirit also is another way. Is uh, we are praying in tongues. <clears throat> That's why Jesus uh, Jesus said, Father is uh, God is spirit and truth. And also Paul said that you know pray all the time in spirit because God is spirit. So praise Jesus. Let us understand the truth and apply them in our life. and when we see the fruit go and teach others how to apply it thank you yes, jesus yes god thank you thank jesus. jesus okay now we want to do the closing prayer sister sharada you can do the closing prayer we had a great testimony from you yeah. what whatever yes. it is small big we, we you know we are all you know uh, what do you say as i said we are all disqualified people yes sister okay Now okay, we are qualified, right, in the kingdom. Now we are yeah. not disqualified. <laughs> yes, sister. Okay, sister. I'll start my prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you for this wonderful time that we have testified. Whatever happened in our lives, Lord, you have given us this opportunity. Only four of us. are there on this platform we are deeply rooted in the word lord in uh, today's gospel what sister clara shared about mark chapter about uh, zaira's daughter's healing and about the lady who was having this hemorrhage her healing also took place um, father uh, heavenly father you have wonderful plans towards us we don't know father when you will when you your plans will accomplish in our lives lord but it is only because of the holy spirit's guidance everything will pass through my father yes lord all these days i have been waiting for a platform where i will get deeply rooted in word of god lord sometimes i read but i don't understand the scriptures but time and again lord i did not give up on this my master i was only waiting for ways and means how this the thirst that i have developed will be quenched father yes lord you have given us this opportunity today is the day that the lord has made lord you have wonderfully brought these sisters who have ministered to other people the word and with great faith my master and this is the time this is the day lord that we are going to still continue our ministry 
and you will send us souls you have you will send us people with the difficulties so that whatever we learned whatever we minister to those people will be only for manifesting your glory my master thank you lord for this wonderful time lord bless sister lara sister clara sister uh, leona and uh, sister gracie and whoever has not joined the uh, session uh, also lord we pray we don't know the reasons lord excuses but only you know my master lord let this be a beginning but let us also bear fruits in uh, you have said that whoever is in you uh, and whoever remains like branches in wine then we, we will bear fruits lord you know my master that we are going to be deeply rooted in your wine like branches and in future lord we will uh, sow the seeds in souls so that many souls will be will be having uh, will face the salvation and many souls will be saved through our ministry because of your guidance holy spirit lord help us to understand the word better and uh, and lead us guide us so that we will be a blessing for others and we will also lead many more souls to the kingdom of god we make this prayer in jesus mighty name amen 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 amen, amen and amen praise god thank you everyone for joining me thank you sister gracie thank you. sister leone sister sharda thank you sister. wonderful session we have thank you jesus yeah, yeah. Uh, i think um, 